Welcome to Lesson 4. This will be a short little video on how to add little toast notifications. This will just give the user some kind of indication visually that their action succeeded in some way. What I want to do is when we come over here and click delete user, I want to pop up a little thing that says like, hey, you've been successfully deleted or, or whatever. You've deleted your account, something like that. To do that, we're going to use a little library called React Toastify. I love little projects that take a specific use case that you might have and just solve it for you. And that's what this React Toastify does. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my local dev environment, copy and paste this npm install script, and then get my server back up and running. All right, so all we have to do if we kind of don't pay too much close attention to all the details is basically have a toast container somewhere in our app one time and then import the CSS somewhere one time. And then I'm going to have a toast whenever I want to actually use uh, a message. In this case, this toast says, wow, it's so easy or whatever. All right, so what we're going to do is import both of these, and I'm going to just add them to my app.jsx file. So let's come up top here, and we'll say like, I don't know, I guess library imports, something like that. I don't actually need toast here, but I'm going to use this toast container, and I'm going to drop it just below my route provider. And it is an actual element like that, so now I've got it on all of my routes by default since it's in my app itself. Now what I can do is on my logout, I can actually hit a toast and show that however I want to show it. So if I come back over here, what I'm going to do is after I've deleted the user, now normally if you'd be submitting to a database or something like that, you'd want to wait till you get a response back, check if it was okay. If it was, then you'd basically show this notification. So I'm going to simply type toast like this, and you should see toast reactify up here, importing this. So let's add this as like a library or something like that. And there's a couple different things you can do. If you are waiting back on a promise, you can use promise like this, and then you can basically pass it three different options. One of those would be pending and then error and success. So while it's pending, it'll basically be spinning. If you get an error, it'll show an error message. Success, you can give it a success message. In our case, we're simply gonna do success because it shouldn't fail going to their local storage. And we'll simply say something like, you've uh, deleted, deleted your account. All right, and then it will return down this way. So if I come back over here, and if we did this correctly, I should be able to click here, click OK, and it says you've deleted your account. Now, the cool thing is if I take focus off, it'll actually stop it by default. I can swipe it off if I want to as well, or I can click X, or it'll just manually remove itself after so long. Now, we're going to be using this toast functionality all throughout the application just to show them when they've added a budget, removed a budget, deleted their account, and when they've created a new account, all that kind of stuff. Now, like I said, this was a very, very short video. And the next video, what I want to do is show you how we can actually have a log in form that shows so that they can actually create an account. So we'll do that by creating a splash screen.